Hi, I'm Jada Fu from Fina University. I'm really glad to introduce our work. Time is an important factor in collaborative work. In medical services, time affects a physician's collaborative pattern and their requirements for healthcare information systems. Existing work divides medical processes into time-critical emergency care and long-term chronic care according to their temporal characteristics. Researchers find out that information systems for acute care should be structured and standardized, while those for long-term chronic care should be unstructured and adaptive. However, in countries suffering from a severe shortage of physicians, chronic disease treatment involves both long-term and time-critical collaborative work. Chronic care is long-term by nature. The treatment procedure involve, includes several times of hospitalizations and follow-up consultations. Chronic care is time critical due to the severe shortage of physicians. China lacks about two thirds of pediatricians, which means about 200,000. As a result, pediatricians undertake extreme patient load. For example, each patient is treated within five minutes in follow up consultations. Therefore, chronic care of both long-term and high-speed features is a new type of collaboration. However, little research pays attention to it. Our work bridges the gap by studying follow-up clinical consultation. It is an important process of chronic disease treatment, and it is also a complicated process, while it has to be completed within several minutes. This work is conducted in a tertiary hospital in a big city of eastern China. Children all over the country come to the hospital to seek high-quality medical services. Therefore, pediatricians there are very busy. We mainly answer three research questions. How is a high-speed follow-up consultation conducted? Why can such a complicated process be completed within several minutes? And what are the challenges stakeholders face during the high-speed collaboration? By answering these questions, we aim to unveil the characteristics of high-speed chronic care and inspire the design of suitable healthcare information systems. We conduct two phases of research to answer these questions. The first phase lasts for over one year. We aim to have a comprehensive understanding of the entire chronic disease treatment process. The second phase focuses on clinical consultations, especially follow-ups. Through observations and interviews, we collect data and we analyze, analyze this data with grounded theory and affinity diagram approaches. We find that the chronic disease treatment process includes four stages. The information acquisition takes two minutes. The communication and the wrap up takes three minutes in total. Overall, the duration is very short. Physicians have to handle multitasks simultaneously and have few helpers. This is quite different from those of developed countries, where the three stages are conducted sequentially. Each stage takes a much longer time. During the whole process, physicians have many assistants, for example, nurses, secretaries, and even medical or digital scribes. We can see that tasks are not omitted. The complicated process can be completed within several minutes due to physicians handling multitasks almost during the entire process and completing each task in an extremely efficient way. In the following, we introduce each stage. For information acquisition, follow-up sheet is the first choice. The various paper-based materials prepared by patients are the second choice, whereas EMR system is the last choice. 
It is used only when physicians cannot obtain required information or papers or need to get more detailed information. Physicians can obtain required information efficiently, mainly due to follow-up shape. Its medical data are carefully selected, well-organized, and displayed properly. Besides, papers are easy to glance over. However, physicians face problems caused by the paper properties of the materials, which influences the effectiveness and efficiency of information acquisition. Please refer to our previous work for detailed information. In communication, physicians mainly concerned with disease treatment. Parents focus on the thing that patient me patients need to watch out for in diet and uh, exercise. Physicians are the dominator. Child patients are passive bystanders during the entire process. The communication is highly efficient because it is personalistic and simplified, which results in unsatisfied patients for cannot obtain enough education and have eye contact with physicians. As a result, patients may see other physicians again, which increases the time and money costs, waste the medical resources, and makes physicians busier. During a follow-up consultation, physicians need to record medical data and prescribe medications and examinations with EMR. They also need to enter key values in follow-up state and print information on the medical record notebook. Even though some features of existing EMR systems help to improve the operation efficiency, Medical data recording and prescription still take much time, and physicians bear the heavy cognitive load. In conclusion, this work unveils the characteristics of chronic care of both long-term and high speed for the first time. We find that physicians control the rhythm of the entire process, and efficiency comes at the expense of stakeholders' experiences. EMR is the tool for storing medical data rather than the information source. Based on these findings, we gave some design suggestions on realizing reliable education channels, disease management platforms, and information summary systems. Well, that's all for now. If you are interested, welcome to read our paper. Thanks for listening.